Hi, my name is Andrew Seltz from DIY Bookbinding, and in this video, I'm going to answer a question that was left at the DIY Bookbinding website by David from Silver Clef Music. Now, David is looking for an easy way to bind music, something that would handle 12 to maybe as high as 60 pages, um, that would be easy to open with one hand and turn pages because musicians often have to do that, and that would lay flat without you know, having to crease the pages or have somebody to hold the pages for you. And so I found an example to follow, which is uh, this collection of organ music. It, this is commercially bound, and basically all they've done in this, in this particular edition, David, all they've done is taken a tabloid size sheet of paper, which is 11 by 17 inches here in the States. They've taken that, printed it in booklet format, and then bound it down the center with staples. There's just three staples in here. This is a you know, modest, gauge, modest weight paper in the middle, and then a cardstock cover. The only thing different than a typical you know, booklet that you'd make yourself um, is that they've trimmed this edge right here after they've uh, bound it because if you bind as many pages are, as are in this particular booklet, the, the center pages would stick out a little bit more from the edge pages just because of the way everything folds around. And so they've trimmed this so you have a nice clean edge on this, um, on this edge right here. But that's basically the only difference. So how you would go about doing this is fairly straightforward. You can use almost any desktop publishing program if you have um, documents in PDF format, uh, PDF has an export as booklet function that will allow you to print booklets. And you just need to work with a printer that is large enough to handle 11 by 17 paper. Now that's probably the hardest part of this whole process um, is getting something that can handle that size paper because uh, inkjet pages, inkjet printers are gonna be, they're gonna be relatively inexpensive but slow and then you run the risk of the inks being uh, able to smudge if they get damp because um, a lot of inkjet inks um, don't dry watertight or water fast. So that's one issue. They are very slow um, compared to a laser printer, but a laser printer in a wide format is going to be fairly expensive. You can find some used for four or five hundred dollars reconditioned, but it's going to be a significant investment. You could also just go down to your local copy shop and have them print that out for you as well. Now, that works just fine too. To give you an example, I went ahead and printed out a uh, uh, musical score that I downloaded yesterday. I went to uh, Free Scores Online, I believe it was, and found uh, Claire de Lune, and I printed it out. This is, let's see, six pages of music. I printed it out from a PDF file. Um, I printed it on 11 by 17 paper, because I have access to a large format printer. So this amounts to two sheets of paper, which gives you eight pages um, when bound and folded. And then I used a long reach stapler. Now um, these are relatively inexpensive, easy to come by. So I had a long reach stapler and I basically set the guides to, uh, to allow the page to fit halfway in. So that's gonna be eight and a half inches. You set this little backstop guide and then that will keep the staples right on the spine. And then you just place two staples or three staples um, across the spine, get a bone folder to fold the edge nice and, and crisp and you have a booklet. And this is what I came up with. It happened relatively fast. Um, if you had some cardstock, you could do the nice cover like on this commercial version. Um, but that's really all there is to it. And I think this is probably the best method because it will lay open flat, as you can see. And it is the, it is the method that I see most often with musical scores other than large bound volumes, which will be usually paperback or, or hard covers. But for um, typical music that you'd get for you know, piano score or something like that, it tends to be done up in a booklet like this. Well, David, I hope that answers your question and helps you in your quest to print and bind music for your company. Now, if this booklet format isn't a good fit for you, please leave a comment below and let me know what additional needs that you have um, for printing, and I'll see if I can address them in a follow-up. But I do believe that the booklet format using a tabloid size sheet of paper is probably your best bet. It is what I come across most commonly in publications like this one right here. Um, and it's fairly easy and straightforward to do, other than the printer. Now, for anyone who'd like to follow along and make booklets like this, um, I have links below to all the tools that I typically use when making a booklet for, um, for publication. Um, and that's basically it. So, Try it out. Booklets are easy to make. They're fun to make and very, very useful. I'm Andrew Seltz for DIY Bookbinding. Have a great day.